welcome to the lab session for microscope demonstration in this session we will uh, learn different parts of microscope and uh, after that we will give a demonstration uh, on how to visualize brownian motion of colloidal particles uh, using three different uh, optical microscopy technique that is bright field dark field and fluorescent so now we will know the different parts of the microscope this is a dmi8 uh, leica inverted microscope starting from the top this is the transmitted uh, light arm which we can push it back to have a better access to the staging area where we keep our sample for visualization coming down this is the condenser there comes the staging area which is fully motorized and controlled by this joystick uh, then comes this objective lens turret then uh, inside this there is filter cube turret this is the focus knob and this is the eyepiece in this objective lens turret there are currently six uh, objective lenses which are mounted uh, of magnification 5x 10x 20x 40x 63x and 100x uh, the objective uh, lens look something like uh, this now uh, in order to see the uh, filter cube turret we have to open this part and if we will rotate this we can see a filter cube this uh, this uh, shiny thing which you are seeing is a uh, rhodamine filter cube and uh, these filter cube are cubes are uh, highly sensitive to the light so you are not supposed to allow them uh, uh, to be exposed to light for uh, longer duration and uh, uh, this is the uh, knob uh, and the camera of this microscope is the on the other side of this microscope and in aligning with this knob if we will close this knob then we can visualize the sample uh, in this eyepiece and if we will open this knob then the light will go to the camera and we can visualize the sample in the uh, system and uh, this is the joystick which controls the movement of this uh, stage which is motorized uh, this is the x uh, this is the x movement y movement and this is the, the g movement which is uh, used to focus uh, the sample and here you can see four different buttons which are uh, the speed controls for this uh, movement along the three uh, direction uh, now we will move towards uh, making a sample for uh, the demonstration of brownian motion we will prepare the sample using a di water and uh, red fluorescent polystyrene particle of uh, 1.1 micro uh, meter size uh, first we will take around uh, 1 milliliter of uh, di water and we will uh, put this di water in this tube which is of size again uh, 1 uh, milliliter then we will take around 1 microliter of this uh, red aqueous fluorescent uh, uh, particle solution and we will mix this with 1 uh, milliliter of di water uh, now in order to homogenize this mixture we will put it in uh, vortex shaker for around uh, 30 seconds so now the required sample is uh, ready and we already have prepared a, a visualization chamber using two parafilm stripes and a square cover slip uh, connected to them 
uh, on a microscopic glass slide. Uh, so, this observation chamber is open from left and right side from uh, where we will inject this uh, solution. Now, we will take around uh, 70 uh, microliter of this uh, prepared solution and we will inject this in this uh, observation uh, chamber. Uh, while injecting this, we have to be cautious that no air should be there inside this chamber, otherwise there will be evaporation of the uh, sample and uh, which will uh, not give any Brownian motion. So, now our uh, after injecting the solution, we will cover the two opened site using uh, UV uh, curable glue and we already have prepared a sample uh, which contains uh, uh, the solution of the fluorescent particles inside and which is covered from all the side. So, here there is no evaporation, there is no chance of evap evaporation of the solution. Now, we will use this uh, sample. Uh, uh, and uh, visualize the Brownian motion in the microscope using three different techniques. This is the chamber which we prepared earlier. We will keep it on the stage of the microscope uh, and we will keep the cover slip side uh, downwards as this is an inverted microscope. So, uh, after keeping the slide, we will turn this knob on, so that we can visualize this uh, the sample uh, using the camera on the screen. And uh, the first uh, thing to do is to focus uh, on the plane, where uh, you can visualize the Brownian particles. Uh, and in order, to, in order to focus, we will first uh, find uh, the uh, border of the covers, uh, border of the parafilm, which is a straight line. Now, you can see this is not in focus. Now, we will uh, adjust the g axis such that we can uh, see a sharp line of the parafilm uh, stripes. So, now you can see a, a sharp line of this uh, parafilm uh, uh, stripes, which uh, indicates that now this is focused. Now, we will move to the center of the uh, observation chamber to visualize the Brownian particles. Uh, now, now, we will increase the magnification from 5 x to 63 x gradually, 5, 5 to 10 x, then 20 x, then uh, 40 x, then uh, 63 x. So, here you can see uh, now, uh, now here we can see the uh, Brownian, uh, Brownian particles, uh, again we will adjust the g axis a little bit. Uh, now, you can see the uh, Brownian particles undergoing Brownian motion and here we have different modes in addition to the bright field, a dark field and the fluorescent. We have already recorded the videos of this Brownian motion and we will show them uh, now. So, this is the bright field uh, video which, which we just uh, witnessed. Uh, in, uh, in bright field microscopy, uh, the particle absorbs the light uh, and creates a contrast from the background, background uh, by creating a dark image in a bright background. This is the concept of bright field microscopy and uh, you, here you can see the Brownian uh, particles undergoing the colloidal particles undergoing Brownian motion using bright field uh, microscopy. The dark images are the Brownian particles and the background is bright that is why it is bright field, bright field microscopy. And, uh, uh, in uh, uh, this is the Brownian motion video using uh, uh, dark field microscopy in which 
the particles are reflecting the light by creating a contrast uh, the particles are creating a contrast from the background by reflecting the light and they create a bright image in a dark background that's why this is known as dark field microscopy and this is as you can see this is the brownian motion is more clear than the uh, bright field uh, video and uh, now we will move towards the third uh, technique which is uh, fluorescent uh, uh, microscopy fluorescence microscopy uh, here you can see uh, that here the again the white uh, dots are the brownian particles in fluorescent microscopy uh, this is the white light source which we will turn on and we will allow the white light to pass through the dichroic mirror which we saw earlier uh, in the filter cube turret. For these particles we are using the rhodamine filter cube which consists of a dichroic mirror. We, uh, so, this dichroic mirror will separate the uh, 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 542 wavelength light from this white light source and it will allow it to reach the uh, staging area where the particle uh, will receive this 542 uh, nanometer light and the particle since these are fluorescent particles uh, the particles will excite and it will emit a wavelength of uh, lower energy that is around 612 nanometer of light and again that 612 nanometer light will pass through this dichroic mirror and reach the camera by which we can see the uh, motion of this uh, uh, particle. So, uh, in this uh, demonstration we saw how to visualize uh, Brownian motion of uh, uh, colloidal particles using bright field, dark field and fluorescent uh, microscopic technique. Uh, thank you for watching.